Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Moon, and as well, oh my God, rising. A monthly tarot reading for October 2019. And just bear with me a few seconds, guys, here to clean the mess that I did with the cards. Shuffle them, and uh, then we can go right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic of uh, your month Cancer is going to be the Seven of Wands. The second card does expresses up the challenges uh, that you have to overcome throughout the month. That is going to be the Page of Swords. Then the third card here stands as a... Um, <clears throat> it is like the most uh, appropriate approach toward the endeavors that you're going to have throughout the month is more like a, a guidance card all right or what kind of a standpoint you should take throughout the month that is going to be the uh king of cups then it is uh, the lesson that the month is going to teach you all right what will be the the most important hint or rather like a uh, yeah lesson that you will have to learn throughout the month that or also this card shows up uh, as why this thing is happening, all right? What, what, what is the reason behind all that? And that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. And the last card here, it is uh, the um, Three of Swords, which are the supportive energies that you are going to have by, at your side, you know, and uh, to dispose of as well, like a means of yours. We do have the Three of Swords. <clears throat> So before we scrutinize that reading, uh, these cards here, which is a very interesting reading, by the way, uh, it does look like that you are really going to, I can't say have it your way, but at the very least, you're going to get the upper hand over a, a quite severe unsubordinate person in your life. But before we go into that, let's run the cards down one more time. So uh, the first one is going to be the Seven of Wands, uh, followed by, that is the topic here, followed by the challenges of the Page of Swords. Then it is the most possible approach toward the, the best possible approach toward the situation. This is how I'm going to name the card here. That is going to be the Queen of Cups. Next one, it is uh, the um, Nine of Pentacles, which stands for the lesson that you are to learn or why all this is happening for you. And the last one, it is the energies, the supportive energies that you can rely on throughout the month. That is going to be the Tree of Swords. All right. So, uh, Seven of Wands, it is catalyzed here by the Four of Cups. So, these two cards, first of all, they are a active enemies. And what happens throughout the month is that you will not want to take 
that thing anymore and that thing is the unsubordination of a specific individual either into your career or either into your relationship why uh, because you can uh, kind of like see how big potential that endeavor either relationship career project or you know some sort of a project into your friendship friendship circle does uh, have all right and it does require, however, the involvement of, of this specific individual. However, that specific individual, like I said, is going to be a bit ins unsubordinate. And, it, and while it may be eager to get himself or herself, that is, involved into the endeavor itself, it will not want to do the things your way. And not doing the things your way actually is not going to achieve those results that you would like the endeavor itself to uh, to achieve and so this month it will be a month where you are going to um how do you say it in english uh, determine all right and so you're going to determine yourself to prove that person either wrong or uh, either wrong in their understanding of the situation and as well to make them see that actually you are not working against them or against the endeavor itself, but into the endeavor and their favor also. Now, important thing to be acknowledged here with these cards, okay, the Seven of Wands and the Four of Cups, it is that a, a moment, a, a, mo a month of actions, uh, it's in front of you, you know, you need to act upon your convictions, you need to act upon your ideas as well, but while in the same time, those actions should not be rather frantic, but instead Instead, they need to be very uh, well calculated, right moment, right time, right people, you know, and right means, right measures. So uh, even though you may be kind of like a, a, a call for patience could be set upon you at a certain stages, that patience is not while you're waiting, you know, um, things to be given to you. But that patience is for you to, like I said, you know, the uh, to wait for the right circumstances to arise. And uh, the challenge itself is going to be the individual, the person here, your person of interest, most likely, or your husband or a wife, you know, the insubordinate co-worker, your supervisor or whatever, whoever is giving you a rough time. So we do have the page of swords and it's catalyzed by the two of swords. And that is the real issue here. First of all, we do have a active supporters and with these two cards the page it's it, that individual it's not convinced uh even in himself uh, i'm saying himself because it's a page all right uh how do i say it here well even though all the circumstances around your your endeavor around your situation mutual situation are revealed the page is still not convinced that that thing actually can be pushed through so the page although considering all points of view it doesn't see any real movement that can be achieved and the problem with the page is that while they are original thinkers while they have great ideas you know while they are so cold into their um into their logic the page does not see much forward than their nose and uh, it, when in negative position also the page way too much rely into random events like unexpected help for example so i do believe here that this individual this uh, person thinks that something is missing while everything it is at place why what what i mean is that you together as a, a collective you do have everything you need to deal and to tackle with the endeavor while the page itself thinks that you still need something you both you know are still need something you both are missing something and for that reason the page is not going to tell you no i'm not going to be a part of it but in the same time it's not going to tell you as well yes we are going to do it all right it's going to take some sort of a uh, neutral states just to see where the tips of the scales are going to lean toward failure or success and it is your role cancer throughout the month to tip the scales in a favor of a success by once again doing your actions in a very calculative fashion 
So what is the best possible approach toward all that? What you should do in order to tip the scales in your favor? Well, we do have the King of Cups and that card is accompanied or catalyzed by the Strength card. So you shouldn't, first of all, give uh, a room for your enthusiasm to play a role. And that seems a bit awkward, I can admit that, but when one acts from, uh, is acting from enthusiasm, one risks to be quite reckless, all right? So the first fulcrum that you need to uh, that you need to account to it is the deep emotional connection toward the cooperation with the page, toward the page himself, and toward the endeavor itself as well. So you need to show the page that you do care. This isn't some sort of an ambition. This isn't some sort of, some sort of a individual undertaking of yours just just to prove to the world that you can do it. All right, you need to show to the page that that thing you are pushing together actually does matter. How? When you make a balanced decision, when you opt to involve the page in every decision that you are to take and in every move that you are to make. Also, um, you have to opt to help the page with their personal stuff as well. So the page can see how reliable you are and while they are waiting for that unexpected source of help, to come around, well, you are the help that they are waiting for, right? So you need to prove yourself very reliable. And one more thing as well, it is elaboration, okay? So whenever you have something in mind that involves this page around to perform or to take a participation into, to be involved in general, you need to elaborate upon your strategy, upon your expectations as well, you know, upon the method of how you are going to, um, uh, of how you are going to act upon this, uh, upon the enterprise and so on and so forth. Because once again, the page is, like I said, it's very intellectually agile, but it doesn't see further than his nose. Uh, um, uh, reality, I mean, it cannot discern the reality further than his nose. And so every blanks that you do leave, uh, that you do leave unfulfilled, blanks into your uh, intentions, you know, blanks into your strategies as well, the page fills them up with fantasies. And this is the last thing you want to, um, you want to have because, or you want to establish because at the end of the day, um, nothing from those fantasies is going to be accomplished. And what that means is that the page itself is going to have a unfulfilled expectations. So uh, just here to give you a, a few notes that I have made uh, throughout the reading, you know, so um, uh, try to elaborate upon your feelings and upon your expectations into your relationship or into all the person of interest, you know, try to elaborate as well things that you are holding down within yourself, in your career, with your coworkers, with, with your boss, for example, if your boss that it's not mispleased, but is baffled by, by, uh, by your performance, you know, elaborate upon your performance, say why you are doing this stuff, you, or, or what obstructs you of being better, and so on and so forth. You need to speak about a, the, um, the, the concerns that you do have, okay? throughout this month of October. Now the next card, it is why this always happening to you. We do have the, the uh, Nine of Pentacles and it is accompanied by the High Priestess. And that is uh, the lesson as well that you are that you will have to learn. And it's a uh, goddamn big one, all right? So first of all, we do have a passive friend. And these two passive friends are pointing that any conquest, any challenge that you are to take further down the road in your future, regardless career or regardless relationship, it needs to be established upon, oh, obviously a solid foundation, but also it needs to be uh, established upon a sense of longevity, okay? There is no point jumping into a thing if you don't know, uh, is are you gonna have that thing tomorrow? So once again, elaboration and as well, negotiations are something that you need to rely on throughout the throughout this uh, throughout this month. And uh, what I uh, missed to to say with uh, the previous two cards is balanced decisions. Okay, whenever you do have a decision to make, you have to be very calm, almost with with poker face, and take that decision 
based on your balanced judgment. But these two cards as a lesson are pointing that whatever conquest is awaiting you forward, it will have or should have a longevity. Nothing that it is situated upon a, a temporary, co uh, con not consequences, but circumstances, excuse me, on a temporary yearnings, temporary uh, convictions, and as well temporary determination is gonna last long. So the lesson for you is how to establish you will learn maybe the hard way you know how to establish a, a long a um, mm, long lasting okay foreseeable future either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship as well or maybe both maybe for your entire life but definitely <clears throat> we do have a big conquest coming your way and uh, especially career-wise is going to be quite successful and quite lucrative but you need to win that page on your side the page of swords the challenge itself to convince the page that you are the man you are the woman you are the one who is going to take you to the greater heights you are the one who are going to establish you know that lucrivity in both of your lives and the challenges and the supportive energies here for you cancer are the three of swords and it is wow look at that guys and it is accompanied by the ten of swords and remember these are supporting energies these are not negative cards okay or they are not falling into a negative position and that makes you an exceptional performing person when you perform under pressure with these two um and also a, a very good risk taker if i may say it that way in the sense of that you are gonna laugh in the face of danger you are going to laugh as well in the face of uh, of of loss also i mean in the face of loss when there is something for you to lose that is not going to be an intimidating factor uh factor in your uh in your life and in your decision making which is going to make you very balanced in regards to your decisions but those energies that are to support you is that even uh, the more you are oppressed by the circumstances, by the time, the more hard time you have, the more tough it's going to become. So, uh, because people usually get softened when they are experiencing very, very rough times, well, it's going to happen to you the opposite. I mean, you are going to be forged in fire, right? You're going to be forged into this, uh, into this struggle here to uh to win the arguments with the page of swords and to win the page of swords on your side but it does look like as a, a very good uh, partnership that you are to establish throughout this month a uh, cancer and uh, that partnership will truly going to resuscitate a lot of fields in your life and uh, with the last two cards um, um, your will it's more quench that you have uh, anticipated all right or that you even had imagined for yourself so it's um, you are to revive yourself from the ashes if I may say it that way so that being said cancer this was your Monte Tower reading October 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we are going to see each other next time until then bye